Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to those of you who are new here, thanks for tuning in. I'm Katie and today I've decided to do a little challenge. I've got some of Poundland's finest scented markers and as you guessed it, they are priced at £1 sterling. Poundland is the equivalent to a dollar store in the UK and the flavours I've got to work with are orange, lemon, strawberry, grape, blueberry, apple, cherry and watermelon. I'm going to draw each of these fruits using those pens. I'm using watercolour paper for the drawings and also for the swatch sheets and as these are aimed at children they should be washable therefore water soluble so to get the most out of them I'll be using a paintbrush and clean water. They swatched out quite nicely and the pigments in the markers didn't split when diluted. The only thing that wasn't great was the felt tip did chew the paper a little but it's not the end of the world, it is a fun challenge after all. So, orange. Orange is my first marker I'm using. Just for the sniff test, it does smell a little bit like orange but it's more like an orange candy smell rather than fresh. I've used other colours for this, I've used the lemon and the strawberry just to bring out the texture and tonal differences and it really does help to extend the colour with the water and the brush. It gives a nice watercolour effect and as the marker set doesn't have a black pen I did decide to outline the drawings with a green chilli novelty black fine liner and I'm quite happy with how this one turned out. What do you think? Time for the apple. The marker slightly smells of apple, but as for the colour, I wouldn't say it was an apple green. So to try and bring out the colour to match the subject, I've added some of the lemon marker and some of the orange. And this will also help with the tonal variations. And with the outline, also I did add a hint of the orange there. I don't think it looks too shabby. And for the record, I have used references for all of these pictures. Strawberry! It smells more of sugar than of strawberry, but the strawberry I can smell is your more generic strawberry smell. How many times do I have to say smell? The colours seemed quite unsaturated and a little cool to match the fruit, so adding warmer colours did help me out, and I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Grape was a very helpful colour for this particular one, just as a note. I'd say it was more grape than strawberry. Ah, the blueberry one. It smells of blueberry bubblegum. It's quite nice and a bit stronger smelling than the other ones, but it's not overpowering. Funnily enough though, I used the grape pen more for this as the blueberry pen was a little bit too blue. I think my composition's a bit off with this, but all in all, I think this one's my favorite. Let me know what you think. Now it's time for the grape. The grape marker mostly smelled of grape soda and they worked really well for this drawing and looked quite good after the outline was applied. It took me absolutely ages to draw all those bits and bobs in there but I'm actually really glad that the water and the brush technique helped out on this. It saved me a lot of time. It did chew the paper up quite a bit doing this one too which is annoying but they were Poundland markers. They're, they're not they're not expert paint markers, so I'm, I'm not really going to go too harsh on this. It is a fun challenge after all.
let me know in the comments if you want to see me do any other art challenges, especially on a budget one. I think they're quite fun. And I think it kind of proves that you don't need to spend a lot of money on art materials to practice techniques. Cherries. The cherry market, I was surprised. It didn't smell as strong as I expected it to. Most cherry flavoured anything is usually quite strong, but this one wasn't. Because cherries have a smooth surface, they were nicely suited for this technique. The grape colour came to the rescue again just to add some depth, and using the water and the brush just added a nice surface to the image. The lemon marker. This one smelled the strongest out of all the markers. My brain said lemon when I sniffed it, but in reality, it was more like lemon dish soap from the 90s. Absolutely had to use a couple of the other markers for this because the yellow was so bright and vibrant, the picture would have been lost otherwise. And of course, the novelty fine liner most definitely helped out with this one. And it's watermelon, the final one. This one doesn't really smell of anything. And this was the most disappointing of the markers because the color was so light and trying to get this color to work kind of chewed the paper up. And I'm not massively happy with the picture, but this was the last one I did out of them. So I'm sorry, watermelon, but here we go.
So I hope you've enjoyed this video. It was just a bit of fun and it's also good to know that you can create art with inexpensive materials. Let me know if you've got any other ideas you'd like me to try for a challenge. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like if you've enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. See you soon. Bye.